Greetings fellow Digitamers, my name is Alex, I'm the Knife Digi Destined and welcome to the first episode of our brand spanking new series, Digi Destined Diaries. Now this new series is still going to be VPET vlogs, just like vlog pets, however rather than just a random day in our adventures, Digi Destined Diaries is going to cover a full run of whichever device we choose to partner up with. And if you watched at my last video, which will have been the unboxing of Dukemon and Beelzebubmon, you'll know that they are our chosen devices this time round. So get comfy, because I'm sure this one's going to be a long one. Get yourself some snacks, get sat down, get a drink, dim the lights, you know, get the mood set, and yeah, come on this adventure with me. Ace. So yesterday we raised ourselves um, Bukamon and Motimon, and at around 3 a.m. last night, or this morning, uh, they started beeping like crazy, woke me up, and they digivolved to rookie level. So our Motimon digivolved into Otamamon, an adorable little amphibian Digimon, hence why we're by the river. And our Bukamon digivolved into another absolute cutie, Siakumon. Um, a crustacean type Digimon, and he's kind of a quirky design, but I really like him, so yeah. And as with all the version 20 of devices so far, when you reach rookie level, that unlocks the second egg. Yes, you do raise two partners on these devices, so that's really cool. So on our Dukemon, we selected the Wind Guardian's egg. And that hatched out a Nyokimon, who then digivolved into Yokomon. And on our Beelzebubmon, we selected the Nightmare Soldier's Egg. Who hatched out to be Mokumon and has now digivolved into Demimerimon. So now that we've hit rookie level, that means we now have DP, which means we can fight. So let's do it. Let's put Otamamon and Siakamon head to head. And most excitingly, we can do a pendulum battle as these are both pendulums. So it, rather than it just being four hits and the final hit decides the winner, we'll get the full animation. So check this out. In the left corner, we've got Otamamon, the amphibian rookie level Digimon. And in the right corner, we've got Siakumon, the crustacean rookie level Digimon. Let's do this. So I have to shake them equal times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we connect them. And once they are firmly connected, we press B. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be ace. So they both got a good shake. Whoa, that was a strong hit from Siakamon. Oh, Tamamon's retaliated. Siakamon's got the upper hand. This could be the deciding hit. Siakamon is the winner. Look at his cute little smile. Also, we can battle within the device. So if we go along to this icon, the trophy, that is tournament. And we can either do a single or a tag. We can only do single at the moment because we only have one rookie in each device. And we start over. And this generates Digimon in the device to fight against. So if you don't have two devices, you can still battle and get your win percentages up. Awesome. Yo, what's up? It's day three of the playthrough and unfortunately this entry is going to be pretty short because I've just got in from work and now I'm rushing around really quick getting ready because it's my birthday on Tuesday and today is Saturday so we're having the birthday celebrations tonight. So I've got like a buffet to set out, got people coming around and stuff and yeah, it should be really cool. But I just wanted to make sure I got this update in because I froze Otamamon and Siakumon so that Yokomon and Demi Merimon could catch up so that they're all at rookie level. And true to form, at about 5 a.m. this morning, they both digivolved to rookie level. And Demi Merimon digivolved to. Tapiamon. 
awesome Digimon, really, really unique design in my opinion. Always had a real love for him, but when he made an appearance in Adventure Try, whew, stole my heart, dude, stole my heart. And secondly, Yokomon, true to form, digivolved into... Beomon. Not really much to say than Beomon, other than she is a classic Digimon, a brilliant character, and ace. So we've got four rookies now. We have two rookies on each device, and that means we can have our first pendulum tag battle. Let's do this. Okay, so I have, in case you can't tell, I have actually filmed this section after the party because people started turning up pretty much while I was filming the last section and the lighting in my room just wasn't right. So I thought, just screw it, we'll wait until after the party. And I'm glad I did because, as I said, this party was to celebrate my birthday, which is in a few days. And my brother, he works away. So he wanted to give me my presents early and man, did he spoil me? I want to show you guys what we got. Before we continue, you can see here, Siakamon is injured from that fight. That ominous skull tells us this. So if we go down to the bandage and we click on the skull and he's happy again. So, so the card obviously says brother and pretty classic card, but still beautiful. Next up, we got the Pokemon Indigo League box set and man do I love me a box set so I'll be binging that once I finish Tamers all eight of the Indigo League badges but trust me I really have earned these badges the amount of times I've played through the Pokemon games so this is an awesome gift really nice display case and I got the Ash Ketchum hat but ladies and gentlemen the best I save for last. Brace yourselves for Charmander onesie. Look at this. It's got a tail. It's got a tail and everything with a little flame on it. Man, this is adorable. Love it. Yo, what's up? Welcome to day four of the Pedges. <clears throat> Welcome to day four of Digidestia Diaries. Um, as you can see, it is currently everyone's favorite time of the week. It's bath time with Alex. So yeah, once again, I've been at work all day and I've just got back and I'm currently soaking in this nice hot bubble bath. Despite being absolutely exhausted and it being really late, I am running on pure excitement because our Digimon have all hit champion level. As soon as I get out of this bath, I am going to get into my Charmander onesie, I'm going to get nice and snug, and I'm going to introduce you to the dudes. So we're out of the bath and feeling suitably snug, and it's time to finally reveal our champions. Bit of a spoiler alert in the decorations here. So we'll start off with Beelzebubon or Beelzemon. Man, that backdrop is sick. We have got Garurumon. Here is Garurumon, everyone's favourite good boy. Garurumon. Otamamon digivolved into Gatamon. I always call it Gatamon. The, uh, the Japanese name for Gatamon is Tailmon. That's just stupid. Most Digimon have got tails and... Nah, stupid name. I don't care what anyone says, that's a stupid name. Gatamon sounds way cooler. And we have a cat and a dog living together in perfect harmony. Ace. And on our Dukemon Gallantmon, we have got... Da -da -da Woodmon, the world's creepiest looking tree. Although when he does his smile on here, he actually looks adorable. Look at that! <laughs> so, look, so it goes from absolutely terrifying to absolutely adorable. And Ikakuman, 
Kind of a goofy one on the sprite. It looks obviously just like a warus, really. And now you're expecting me to be like, oh, okay, let's put these guys to the test and see who's going to win. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to battle against our Wave 1 version 20 of Pendulum, which I have also been running alongside these guys. Because rumour has it that if you connect your Wave 2 with your Wave 1 and your Wave 2 wins, you will unlock an egg on these guys. Here we go. Okay, and we're off. And Beelzemon wins. And we're off. Gallopmon loses. Ah. So yeah, off camera, obviously, I am going to grind that so that this guy can beat that as well. But obviously, I don't want to just make this all about battles. So, let's check in with the dudes. So, okay, this is good. This is good. You can see that they are minus two hunger hearts. So, if you go onto the individual screen and you give them one meat, that will fill up one heart. However, if you feed them on the jewel screen, when you can see both left and right Digimon, it will actually feed them a giant meat, and this will restore two hearts. Look at that. Da -da! So, a quicker way of doing it. Yo, what's up? It's day whatever. I've lost, completely lost count of the days now. Yesterday was my birthday. I worked a full 12 hour shift, but then when I got home, we had pizza, we had chips or fries if you're over the seas. We cracked open a keg of my favorite, favorite beer. So hence why I'm having a bit of a lazy morning in the old Charmander onesie. The coolest thing was my wife made the most epic birthday cake ever. Put the Gilmon bread on there, Alex Mon instead of Takato Mon, obviously, and it is actually the Gilmon from my logo. How cool is that? So yeah, I'm very lucky to have my wife. Also, she made me such an amazing gift. My gift is just out of this world. She made me the flag from Digimon Tamers. Check this out. Man, it looks so good. I can't wait to hang it on my wall. It is going to look sick. So, we have news. Something really strange happened. Now, this is really strange. I really kind of baffled as to why and how this happened. But it turns out cats don't have nine lives. It's Gatamon, guys. For whatever reason, she was unable to make it past champion level and she died and left behind the PC. Which is weird because she had zero care mistakes and she had 96 win percentage and 96 win percentage on single and tag and zero care mistakes. So I really, really don't know how that happened. The only thing I can think is that it's because she was frozen for a while at rookie level. You know, we froze them so that the babies could catch up. So I'm wondering whether having them frozen for too long can affect their evolution. I don't know. It's something I've suspected before, but I've never really heard anyone talk about it. I've never really seen it mentioned anywhere. So I'm not saying it does, but from my findings, I think that's possible because our second partners both digivolved. Garurumon digivolved into Mammothmon. Literally the messiest sprite ever. I mean, that's just kind of a mess, but... Mammothmon's a cool Digimon. Ikakumon has not digivolved yet, and he was the same age as Gatamon, which is leading me to believe that he is due to die. But Woodmon digivolved to Ultimate as well. Woodmon digivolved into Cherrymon. 
Cherrymon's a really cool Digimon, but I believe he looked cooler in his original design in Digimon World 1. He looks way more creepy in Digimon World 1. I love him anyway. He's a cool dude. Um, gotta love his Ned Flanders moustache. <laughs> but no, he looks, he looks really cool. And his episode in Digimon Season 1 is amazing. The way he turns Matt and Ty against each other. Really cool. It shows that Digimon have powers other than just fighting, you know. Cherrymon, he can, he can play with your brain, so be careful. But anyway, I digress. So what I'm saying is our second eggs on each device have digivolved and our first eggs, one died and the other one hasn't digivolved. So this is the perfect opportunity to talk about Jogress or DNA Digivolution. And this is where two Digimon, they merge together to digivolve to a higher form. And this is desperately needed for Ikakramon before he dies. Ikakramon can Jogress, so I think that is our only chance at getting Ikakramon to ultimate level. So let's flip this camera around off my ugly mug and I'm gonna talk you guys through it. There are a number of ways you can Jogress, and this first one I want to show you for a Kakamon is a connection. I've never actually done this before because up until having these two, this was my only pendulum, the Wave 1 version 20 of Silver Black. So we are going to connect. We're going to fuse or try to anyway, I don't know if they can, Kawagamon and Ikakumon. Scroll across to connect, Jogress, then down to connect. And then select our Digimon. So we've got Ikakamon and Koagamon. Now we connect them together. And here we go. Oh, cool. Awesome. So we've got Scorpiomon. I think that's his name. Uh, I hope that's his name. Scorpiomon and Piximon. Uh, there we go. Get up, man. Yeah, Piximon. And I've got to say, Piximon Sprite is a damn sight better than Piximon Sprite on the original V Pets. And Scorpiomon, he is a boss Digimon. And on this device, we have Mammothmon. That is such a messy sprite. I'm not saying I could do a better job, by the way. I still love these sprites, but some are better than others. And this is a weaker one. Also, something else really exciting happened. I received a package today from a friend of mine on Instagram. This has come all the way from Australia. I've got honestly no idea what this is. Here we go. Ah, oh, cool. Hi Alex, Happy New Year. Hope you enjoy these little V-Pet cozies I made for you. These things are damn expensive, best keep them safe. So I thought these would be a cute way to do it. I included one of my partner's business cards for his Etsy store. I listed these on his store for fun. I know it's super niche in that, but they're cute and fun to make. I hope you had a good Christmas and have a great year ahead. Keep up the good work with your channel. I love your videos. Warm regard, Hus Idris. Dude, thank you so much. That's an awesome thing. So it looks like we've got some V-Pet cozies. Oh, they're adorable. And they're the coolest for our dudes as well. That's really cool. Oh, they fit perfect. Perfect fit. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That will keep them protected. That is amazing. That'll stop them getting scratches on the screens if they go in your pockets or anything. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So everybody, please, 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 if you do anything for me in your life, go and check out this Etsy store. You don't have to buy anything, but if you do buy something, tell them the ninth Digi Destin sent you. <laughs> no, but it, it would be amazing if you guys would check that out because this is a really, really nice thing to send. He sent these all the way from Australia to the UK and yeah, I'm really, really flattered he would think of me. Awesome. Yo, we're back in the digital world for the final entry of this Digidestined Diary. So, I did a tiny bit of research just out of curiosity, and it turns out that none of our ultimates can naturally digivolve to Mega, which means it's Jogress in time. But before we do that, I want to give them a chance to show off their power to you guys, so we're going to do a couple of battles. Let's do this!
Scorpiomon wins. Okay, so yesterday we did a connection Jogress. So today we're gonna to experiment and see if we can Jogress Scorpiomon and Cherrymon together. Go down to Jogress, select Digimon, and then this will offer you the Digimon you have in your device. So Scorpiomon and Cherrymon. Now let's see if this is gonna work. Mismatch, okay, so that doesn't work. But if they were compatible, you'd do that and they would fuse together and that would leave you the one partner at a higher level. Okay, so as that didn't work, I wanna now explain to you the Copymon feature. So you can copy a Digimon between devices. So let's copy Mammothmon across to Dukemon. So we go to connect, we go down to copy, and we press send. And now this will offer us, show us all the Digimon that we have raised, and we can send any of these. We want to send Mammothmon because he's an ultimate. And now we go here, we go to copy and get. And we connect them together. And now we can see Mammothmon has been shrunk down to a little Copymon. So now you can see that Scorpiomon has got this cute little helper, this adorable little Copymon, and that is Mammothmon. Lady Devilmon, she's absolute pain. There we go, Lady Devimon, and she will appear on our right side Digimon. Let's see if anyone wants to jogress with my girl, Lady Devimon. Scorpio Mon, Lady Devimon. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Gah! Cherrymon and Lady Devimon. It's like speed dating. <laughs> yes, it's working, it's working. Cherrymon, Lady Devimon, Digivolve 2. Puppetmon, sick. Ladies and gentlemen, Puppetmon. What an ace Digimon, he is one of the Dark Masters and he is awesome! There's one more thing I really want to show you guys. So if you only have the one device, don't worry. You still have access to other Digimon that you don't raise yourself. This exists in passwords. So if you go to password and you type in the correct password, you will get an epic Copymon Digimon. One. BL Starmon. BL Starmon on the BL Zubin 1 Digivice. And these password Digimon are ace because they will um, assist you in fights because your Digimon actually fight stronger with a Copymon by their side and they allow you to achieve a Giga Hit, which is more powerful than a Mega Hit. Also, this is good um, to help you jogress. Like I say, if you're only running the one device, you might not have access to another version 20th device with like a bank of Digimon. So these are really good um, to help you jogress. These, these passwords are being released kind of periodically just through various sources from Bandai, I think it is. If you check out wikimon.net, um, they're cataloging it all. I'm sure all the password information will still also be on with the will, um, which is also an awesome forum. You should check that out. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the first episode of DigiDestined Diaries. Thanks so much for coming on this journey and this adventure with me. It's been absolutely awesome. Our next episode of DigiDestined Diaries will be these two devices again because we should have unlocked some eggs and there'll be less kind of tutorialness and more just kind of exploring it and having some fun with it. So hopefully it won't be as long because I'm aware that this video is a mammoth video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've absolutely loved working on this project and I'm excited to have this as the new series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being ace. Thanks for being patient. Keep rocking. You're all the absolute greatest from me and the squad. Peace out. Yo, sorry, me again, just really quick. There was one Jogress option I forgot to explore and I just got home and just tried out of curiosity. Sadly, wasn't recording because my phone pretty much died just after our last clip. And it worked and it's awesome. We did a connection Jogress with Scorpiomon and Piximon and holy crap, I wish we'd done this on camera. Check this out. So Scorpiomon plus Piximon equals Metal Seedramon. Holy crap. 
So we've got two of the Dark Masters. That is metal. And Piximon plus Scorpiomon equals Saber Leomon. What a sick Digimon. Holy crap. We've gone from like not looking like we're going to get any Megas to having the sickest Megas ever. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for being ace. Peace.